All right, and today we'll be reviewing Mohamed Kudus from West Ham. He received this nice Europa League card for Road to the Knockouts as an SPC for around 100,000 coins. And in this review, I played him with an engine chemistry style, which would boost up his pace, his passing, and his dribbling. And I'd primarily play him out as a winger. The best alternatives for this Kudus are probably uh, Team Louis Doku or Gold Rare Musa Diaby. Both of them are, I mean, they're obviously all share Premier League links, but they all have insane pace and dribbling. Kudus, though, is obviously an alive card that can get a plus three overall, if I'm not mistaken. So there's a little incentive to go after Kudus over the other cards. Uh, but also, obviously, the other cards, if you were to buy them off the market, then they would be tradable. Uh, but if you do have Doku or Diaby untradeable, I don't know if it's completely worth it to do this Kudus card just because they are very similar, apart from the chance that Kudus could get a plus three, which most likely West Ham will get two wins and qualify for the knockouts. So now that I've given a basic rundown of the base card and the face stats, I think it's only right that we actually get into the gameplay now.
So final verdict on Kudus. I personally think if you don't have a player like Diaby or Doku, as I previously stated, or like a really reliable winger, you should come play Kudus because he is reliable, he's pacey and very good dribbling. But in front of goal, he did, uh, he was very inconsistent passing. Passing was fine, but was all right. As you see his traits though, very impressive flair, first touch and technical. Uh, I wish he had like quick step or something. And that's why I think players like Diaby really uh, outshine Kudus. But don't let that distract you from the fact that this card is very, very good still. And you should not be discouraged to do this card if you can afford him and you have spare fodder. I think he costs like an 86 and 85, 85 rate squad. Uh, and rival rewards come out this Thursday. Uh, by the time of recording this, obviously they're not out yet, but with rival rewards, you guys should easily be able to complete this card, I feel. So that is the end of the cutest review. I do think he's very solid. And if you can afford him and he fits your team, there's no harm in doing this card.